Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Pax Britannica as the United Commonwealth of America. Let us continue on from where we at last left off. So, we are about to just crush, just, just crush everyone beneath our feet, which sounds to me like a, a grand old time. We are still missing a little bit of resources, but that is okay. We're going to escalate tensions with the uh, Veterans Associations. And then after that, what do we want to be looking at? A good, good question. Alpha Marooners and Recognition. We, we might just have to realize... Southern population got more radicalized. Aren't they already at like 100%? I don't think... Yeah, they're already 100% radicalized. They can't get more radical than that. They're already... Kind of like as angry as you could possibly be. That settles on the crisis. Many politicians and citizens believe that Coolidge did not do enough to address the concerns of the veterans, and his lack of action led to the violent removal of the veterans from their encampment to Philadelphia. Uh, some have also called for resignation over the matter. Coolidge had defended his actions, stating that he had uphold the law and maintained order in the city. However, the controversy surrounding his response to the crisis has only grown, many are calling for further investigation and accountability. The bonus army crisis remains a stain on the Coolidge administration, and pro on unrest continue even after the end of the general crisis itself. Give me, yeah, give me another 10, negative 10% 10 stability. Fantastic. And the dead march west. Rose that many follow lay high with vicious mixtures of blood and dirt, with the occasional sight of a corpse becoming a permanent spectacle for the trek. Once dawn uh, came, everyone prepared themselves to once again follow the dirt road left by their failed settlers of the old America. For those who were too weak to continue walking, their fate is not so prestigious. They became yet another figure on an already increasing list of who was dead. It was a blindly sight to see sons beg for their fathers to get up, and the age of divide only worsened as much of the old, like, claim, laying claim to heaven or hell. Amongst the red skies, fester disease, rampant starvation, and total disarray society, from 300,000 of, of the initial pilgrimage, only an estimated 100,000 survived. If the Commonwealth uh, uh, so wished to chase after us, then they would have to... Then they would have to have the directions needed. It seems that Hazel and Gretel uh, ran out of bread, but not bodies, and they have plenty of. Even when Butler proclaimed a new home for all, uh, all one had to do was turn and look at the damn dirt roads that were made, right in of what had happened. So basically, I think New Walden over here, or maybe one of these two, I'm not too sure. We're, we're, we're not going to play as these guys quite yet, but basically they're going to form the, the second Continental Army, which is going to basically try to uh, restart the American Revolution of old. I think I'll, we'll do that maybe like next time, but for now we're going to hit go fuck off. Okay, thanks to these guys. We got the second Continental Army underneath us, Manly Butler. And yeah, I think we'll save the game here. I think we will try to play them. Actually, we already have an autosave from the uh, the night. That's fine. Well, we'll probably play them like next campaign. I think that could be interesting. However, we're not going to worry about what the hell they're doing over there. We have our own combo to run at the moment. Problem passes and no confidence votes. Shock to turn events, Problem in the United Commonwealth has passed no confidence vote, leading to the resignation of Prime Minister Coolidge, in favor of Deputy Minister Charles Evan Hughes. The vote comes off in the wake of a bonus uh, brigade crisis, where Coolidge faced intense criticism for his handling of the incident. Political anal analysis predicts that the process for electing the Prime Minister may take some time, it could be a contentious one. In the meantime, the government will be run by an interim Prime Minister until the permanent replacement is found. So now we are led by Charles Evan Hughes. That's fine. Son of Wall Street immigrants, not a big deal. Okay, so we're now... Wait, why can't we not do these? Oh, because Calvin Coolidge is not the leader anymore. We can't get through the Coolidge administration. You know what? That actually makes perfect sense. Okay, anarchy in Iran. And a trial of Carl McPherson. The killer would have been identified as Mr. Carl McPherson, a former soldier and a veteran of the Gabinian campaign. His records indicate that he was involved in the siege of Alloyd, although, as expected, Majestic Eleven refused to release any records of his involvement in any kind of civilian massacre. In fact, the agency went so far as to claim Mr. Ferguson was delusional, a fact corroborated by his appearance in court. Uh, McPherson was functionally uh, catatonic by the time he reached the courtroom, and the trial proceeded relatively uneventfully. Commissioner Ness claimed that McPherson appears in temporary was inconsistent with how he was at the time of his arrest, while the Commonwealth military in uh, MJ-11 countered this by claiming that Mr. Ferguson had been rendered an unstable and invalid long before entering police custody. Conspiracy theories have now claimed that McPherson was chemically lobotomized while in custody by MJ-11 following his arrest. The story has largely been downplayed by the, in the media in favor of a circus around McPherson's expected death sentence. 
The remaining members of McPherson Unit, including those associated with the victims, have refused to comment on the validity of the claims. Those with records indicate no such massacre occurred. However, in uh, inquest for information that are still classified has been denied. And look, okay, so we got a new election. Prime Minister Hughes, at the resignation of Calvin Coolidge, has called for an early election to strengthen the support of the Federalist Unionist Party. The movie comes as the conservative government faced severe criticism for their handling of the bonus brigade crisis. Crisis, which saw thousands of World War I veterans camping out in Philadelphia to demand their promised bonuses, led to a violent confrontation between probe protesters and the Royal American Army. Uh, the interim prime minister has promised to address the concerns of the public and improve the government's response to the crises. He has urged citizens to come out and vote for a stable government that can steer the country throughout these difficult times. Hughes has also promised to prioritize social welfare programs and support for veterans in the upcoming elections. The opposition parties have welcomed the move for early elections, calling an opportunity for the people to hold the government accountable for its actions. The campaigning for the elections have already started, with parties unveiling their manifestos and holding rallies across the country. The elections are expected to be fiercely contested, with the opposition parties seeking to capitalize on the government's shortcomings and the public's dissatisfaction. Well, I, I can't see how the uh, FUP could possibly win this election. I mean, they just massacred tens, I think actually 100,000 people is is the, uh, was the vampire debuff, so I'm assuming 100,000 people were just murdered. So, I, I I can't see how they could possibly win this election. So, are, I'm guessing you are the... Are you the special election? I'm guessing you're one of these ones over here. We can either go for the progress party, who is the liberals. We can go for the NWP, which is the state socialist, or social credit, which is the reactionary to become the leader, led by William... Albert, do you unlock your alt your alternate for Social America? Your America for the workers that are liberty and progress. Well, who's the most popular party right now? I mean, that it is social credit. And you know what? If we, if we want to be opposed to the British, I'm assuming that you know, let's elect the reactionaries. Why not? Social credit has won in America. This is a scored victory in America. It's probably the event the Social Credit Party has won a landslide victory in the recent elections in the, held in the United Commonwealth. The party, which was previously uh, considered a minor player in the political arena, has managed to secure a majority in both the House of Parliament and the provincial uh, parliaments. The leader of the uh, Social Credit Party, William Alpert, has pledged to focus his policies on addressing the growing income inequality in the country. So we are now led by... What the... Look, at, look how smooth this man is. We're now led by Social Credit, 29% of the, uh, the House. Okay. Begin the social credit experiment for the political power. Change popularity reactionism is 5%. So I'm, we're probably going to do something similar. We're probably going to do, let's say, reactionary America. Followed by, well, socialist, like continental army. And then Mexico will probably try to go with uh, with some sort of, like, liberal, um, liberal route. Kind of like what we did with Germany where we did uh, socialist, reactionary, liberal. We're not going to do reactionary, liberal, socialist. I mean, Germany was state socialist, which I think is most more like social democratic. It's a little confusing about what they're supposed to be. So we either do an exceptional proposal or an exceptional proposal. Well, I think we want to... I want to refuse it because I'm assuming that might uh, affect us here, maybe. No, so we're still at 35%. So apparently the Warhawks has 0% support and the Peaceniks are at 0% support. We don't support war or peace. We, we just do our own thing over here. We got five more days, some more agitation. Can't really do anything about that. Base value of negative 90% stability. Absolutely fucking incredible. And we have 0.27 uh, political power per day, which is basically zero. Well, the Federal East does look like they're going to end up winning in Nicaragua. I don't know if we can do anything about this at this point. Got rebel strikes. You boost up by, I mean, 8%'s not bad. Let's launch a public relations campaign in Nicaragua. Don't don't worry about making America any better. Let's just make sure a military junta in Nicaragua is having a fun time. You'll be done soon. Poverty rate will improve a little bit. You are, I mean, negative 0.25 for 30 days. And that'll basically mean we earn zero political power once you're on its way. But that's fine. That's okay. The agrarian wing or the techno laborite wing. What the hell does that mean? Okay, we gotta do Pope. 
the agrarian ring or the techno labor rights. I I don't know what that means. But we might go for the techno uh labor right cuz the agrarian I understand what like an agrarian party would want. What the hell does the, does the techno um the techno labor rights want? Nobody knows. Buzzer 2 um I guess we let's go with the reach people 1%. Propose a partition of West Indies. Who says we can't have an empire of our own? We own, we earn some more territory. We get like Jamaica and stuff. Twenty-five political power. You know, I I will take some colonies. I'll take Jamaica. I don't see any reason not to. Because right now I'm assuming that the United the the British are trying to kind of reform the empire, which is which is kind of what I don't want them to do. Engineer a social America, or fight the discrepancy. Trade unions will increase generous state welfare. Let Let's engineer a social America. You know, I don't want to earn any political power. I don't want. I don't want any of that shit. Just give me, give me zero. By the way, do we have trains researched? We do. You're super ahead of time. You're also super ahead of time. Give me the 30... We have 25 heavy tank. Give me the 33 light tank for now as well. Do we have, we have 13,000 rifles. We have a lot of uh, infantry rations as well. A couple of tanks ready to go. So, I don't see any reason we wouldn't want to get... Let's say three tank divisions. And give me, I don't know, like 10 infantry for right now. Seems reasonable. We do need some guns, we need some tanks, we need some more fighters as well. We've we've 134 heavy land ships. Maybe we get like one heavy land ship grenade as well. Do we have enough for that? No, we do not. But that's fine. Also, I want to put uh, artillery pieces in all of you. Uh, do we have enough artillery for that? Yes, we do. Fantastic. Anything else we have like a lot of? Honestly, not really. Our... our... Support equipment's not that high. Infantry rations are not that high. We're also, like, just missing guns. Okay, Italy's side with the UK. And I cannot do you because we need organizing... Oh, because we need the National Spirits. We need, th we need 35 days for this anyways. Let's get us a little bit more party support. We'll try to improve our um, poverty rate as well. Fantastic. What ideology is everybody else going? Because you are state socialist. You are despotism. You guys are liberal. What about Russia? They're also despot. Okay. But despotism and reactionary are not the same thing. I think despot is like absolute monarchy or military junta. Something like that. Because you are, you're despot and you're military junta. The reactionaries are actually going to end up winning in Nicaragua. And I don't think there's anything I can actually do to stop that. Okay, we got the Great Balkan War. Do I... I don't think I... Again, the whole thing with Europe is I don't think I give a single shit about that entire... Uh, this entire continent. Asia, we don't care about. Africa, we don't really care about. Our interest there lies as far as I can... Um, maybe more uh, alliance to Quebec. I, I just need more of the British Empire to side with me over London in the event of a major war breaking out. Which, which it should happen at some point. They get imagine the reactionary parties are probably a little bit more anti-British. It just seems like that would make sense. Melbourne as a clean city. Melbourne as a model city. Of course, we want to be going for the techno labor rights. Who are also the... I mean, actually, no matter what, the uh, Warhawks go up. You actually lower our poverty rate, which seems bad. You're also negative 150 political power. You're actually negative 15% popularity for the reactionaries, huh? Bonus for the anarcho liberals. What do you allow? Efficiency cap. I mean, got some good bonuses here. I guess let's do Melbourne as a clean city. Melbourne is you. Yes, the uh, the the, the big sprawl area here. You yeah, know, we don't need to read about the file, but I pre I appreciate the file being there. Algeria is at war now as well. That's fine. What do we want to research? 
It is 34, so we'll go with one level of oil refining. Even though we are playing as basically United States, we don't have the oil fields of Texas or anything like that. Okay, Algeria has uh, decided to declare war against the Fantasia Francais. Which, I mean, is understandable, for sure. 0.27. It's like our stability is just like so... Absolute dog shit. Um, I guess we got more civilian factories for now. Build those in New Jersey. In the second continental army, they are starting to slowly expand. And how I think that they're supposed to work is that they eventually expand over all of uh, Middle America. And then they invade us at the end. I'm pretty sure how that's how it's supposed to uh, happen here. But I'll just beat them. I'll just win the war. It's, it's okay. Organization recovery rate. Give me reconnaissance. Because I don't want to lose organization for recovery rate. I don't think that's like a great, great deal. Like, I don't think it's terrible, but it's definitely not what we're looking for. Also, we are going to be at negative, uh, like negative 130 political power. And because we get 0.25 basically per day, that leaves us at like two years, I think. Like two, one and a half years to get up to zero again. That's fine. Do we have passive stability gain? No. Factory output would be negative 103%. What is what is it actually? It's actually, it's only 76%. Which, I mean... It's not great. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not very good. Negative 65%. Yeah, just, just keep lowering stability even more. I don't, I don't want stability in any way. At all. Your political power gain minus 0.05 for an entire year. Push for democratic redistribution. Intensifies birth control. Southerners will decrease. I mean, they already don't like us very much. We get a little bit more political power gain, though. That's something, right? The South knows best or reinforce Crichton. Support from the Southerners will increase. Support from the Freedom will decrease. Again, the uh, the radicalization, they're already, like, fucking up there. I, I can't fix that at this point. So I guess we just say fuck the South. I, I can't deal with them. Anything we want over here? Any of you give me, like, just political power gain? No, you also, you just seem bad. So I, don't, I don't see why I'd want to take you. No A plus B. The you know what? 10% base stability. Honestly, we kind of, we, we do need this. I have literally no manpower. The Crichton Compromise. We actually have a base value of negative 0.5%. Negative 0.5%. How have I managed to screw up America this badly? Like, genuinely. Is it gen I'm, I'm posing that question out there for somebody to answer me. How have I ruined this, this country? I don't know. We're at 0.17 uh, political power now per day. Fantastic. <laughs> very, very, very good. What are other, what are other stats? Like, are military stats okay? Base value negative 50. I mean, they seem pretty basic. Like, nothing too crazy there. And I'm guessing these are mostly going to be for our boats. We don't care about too, too much. Where are we garrisoning? The Bahamas. No garrison... Local autonomy. Give me local autonomy, I guess. For the Bahamas. They, they can have some autonomy for themselves. I, I don't see reason to deny that for them at the moment. You actually have 12% stability boost. Which I, I do need. Even though it doesn't really... Uh, I was going to say 1.25. Wow, it really increased our uh, political power gain. No, it's because I'm not taking a focus, you idiot. Consumer goods goes down. Hobby rate will improve. Again, the Southerners already hate us. Mega corporations will increase. Well, how do they feel about us? Mega corporations love us. You know, let's just, um... Once chosen, this will begin the process of encouraging population movements out of the Melbourne Super Colony into other regions of the Commonwealth. 
While unpopular, this would have reduced population burden on the Mega City, allow us to successfully redevelop it for future generations. Yeah, let's push them out of the city. How many people live in this 9 million? Well, I mean, 9 million... 9.8 million. But, I mean, Pennsylvania also has 9.9 million. That doesn't seem, uh... That insanely different. New York City's got 8 million. So, I'm not too sure really what the, uh... The big issue is, to be quite honest with you. Regional stability very low. Regional stability very low. Yeah, like, I understand that most of the country is falling apart, okay? Give me, uh, speed for the supply consumption. Seems alright. We also have two more slots. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for, um... The Prima Forms. And then, can I actually start researching this little naval invasion tech? Two years at a time? Probably does not do that then. Let's go with basic medium airframes. Something simple, something basic. We understand what a medium airframe is. Way too f Oh my god. How long does the crit and compromise last us? I mean, where even is that in here? The credit system... Do Imperial Pounds. I'm not really too sure, to be honest with you. The Quebec loves us. British African Authority and Victoria are not going to align with us, but I don't really care what happens in Australia. I wouldn't mind the British African Authority being more aligned with us. I think that would be uh, beneficial. Okay, so our tanks will deploy in a second. We'll assign you to red, assign one of you over to brown. I don't just want to get a, a third army set up, but that's not a big deal. And more days until you're doing. You can reinforce... Ah, uh, but reinforcing you empowers the, uh... The agrarians. I want to empower the technocrats. Actually, no matter what, you get empowered. So, maybe it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. South knows best. It means an extra 10% stability. Reinforce Crichton. Political power gain. I mean, you have a lot of things I do want. So actually, the freedmen hate both. They do. I mean, you basically do the exact same thing. I guess we'll do what the I guess we'll go with the South knows best, even though I'm not happy with either of these choices. But for right now, I think this is gonna be a good time for us to end off this episode. Thank you for watching this anthem. If you've enjoyed my thumbs up, not to click something down. If you want to see more subscribing, goodbye.